So it is Saturday morning and I am going to go and do some food shopping um, with this on. Don't worry, I will have my crutches and I will be doing um, just some ordinary food shopping really. Nothing exciting going on on this Saturday. So let's just see where it goes. <laughs> So guys, I have just got back from food shopping, as you've seen in that little video, and I can't help realising, obviously, now that I'm like on crutches and stuff and like having to hobble about, what wankers some drivers actually are. Like, I was literally hopping along over this like, almost like to get into this crossway, like over Tesco's. Fair enough, I hasn't got any lights, and I totally understand that. And I'll put my hands up and say like I'm not like the best driver or anything. But like literally I was coming up to it and he could see that I was going to cross and then he literally sped right up and got right over it before I could get there. Which I just thought to him, I just thought, oh, God, what a wanker he is, not even to stop. Anyway, don't know how you lot feel about that. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd share it and just think, whether it's this time of year, whether it's Christmas and people are a bit impatient, but just, all I could just think to myself was what an absolute dickhead he was. So, gym done this morning, um, was actually up at quarter past six and me and my strength and conditioning coach were in the gym for seven o'clock, um, just finished now and at home I've just had some food and basically just going to chill, I've got a couple of things I have to do this afternoon, like I need to go to the post office because I need to post that letter about the speeding fine and then um, apart from that. I'm going to try and get some more work done because like my assessments are due in in like the next two weeks so really kind of like need to knuckle down and get some reading done. Apart from that, just basically just really just need to get some stuff done, really need to get some work done today especially and yeah, foot's starting to feel a teeny little bit better today like as in the gym session that I had was really really good and like really progressive like the weights have started to increase even though I've basically, I'm just going to turn the power thing off again. Yeah. The weights have started to basically increase, even though like I'm injured, I'm still like getting up to like higher amount of weight in comparison to obviously what I was doing when I first started. So yeah, things are going in the really right direction and just feeling kind of more positive than I've ever felt in terms of when I've had this injury. So fingers crossed things are going to roll forward and let's just see where the day goes. So guys, you join me at the post office. I am literally just going to go and post this fucking letter. So I literally I can then not get my three points for speeding and go on that speed awareness course. Also, how many layers am I wearing? Like underneath I've got like my t-shirt, I've got like a thermal top, jumper and a jacket. It is absolutely freezing. I don't know if you can see on there. But yeah, we're rocking three degrees. It is absolutely Baltic. It's times like this, honestly, that I'm glad I don't work at Centre Parks anymore. I feel sorry for those guys working on like the quads and the blooming segways on this time of year. Fair play to you lot. Post office done, all sorted. I've got that letter posted off, which means I'll find out when my actual, when my speed awareness course will be. Also, pick myself up a dirty little fan heater for 9 dumps and 99p. Absolutely stoked on that. Because my landlord, she is a bit annoying with the heating at the moment. For some reason I have no heating whatsoever in my room. Well I do, but it's from the hours of like 
10 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon, so four hours, and then at night I wake up like a block of ice. So yeah, now that I've got that, I'm not going to wake up in cold shivers anymore, which is positives all around. I am um, sat now, just been to research methods, which was actually quite good for once. It was actually quite good. We actually learned something today, which was actually more positive. We learned about how to do like an annotated bibliography, which is obviously part of our like main assessment thing. But like, I've actually got quite far with mine. I'm quite like happy with it. Like the task is that we have to obviously pick four journal articles, well, a minimum of four journal articles and relate them to like, something to do with sports coaching so I'm doing mine on the development of athletes through coaching so that like be from relationships to obviously their goals and whatever they've got to try and achieve so yeah I've got quite far through so literally I'm just plowing through now I've done like the actual I've done four now but I think I'm going to do another another either three or four maybe actually two or three because the word cuts only 2500 up to 1700 odd words now so yeah apart from that like really kind of like happy with the way things are going like uni life is going good i've got like a good bunch of mates who are kind of like obviously like support me through this injury time but then also supporting me like with studies which is absolutely awesome like good group of lads but yeah apart from that uh, I'm going to film a, another video for Sunday, which is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do the NBA thing, but I'm going to be something, doing something completely different, but to do with the PS4 games, which is quite cool. This has been a few ideas from like people who've chipped in over the phone and rang me up, which is pretty cool. But yeah, apart from that, uh, I'm going to pretty much call it a day for this like weekly vlog. So um, yeah, apart from that, I shall catch you on the flip side. Pew.